Hi, everyone. I'm so excited to share this with you. There's been a new update with Berries, and it happens to be my audit proof progress node. I've been audited with it, and it's passed an audit, and Berries has given it to you inside of the Berries portal. And there's just one catch. You have to activate the note within Berries, which is so fun to do. I can't wait to show you how to do this. So let me move my picture out of the way. Okay, so we're going to come into Berries. This is the screen you see when you first enter into Berries. You've got this format, which is a default format for you. Follow up, personalize. Now, if you come up here to my format and you go to new personalized format right here and you say K-Y-M-T-O-L-S-O-N, Kim Tolson. You're going to get confetti on the page and it's going to unlock my personalized audit proof progress note for you. And then you're going to come down here. You're going to hit create and customize right here. It's going to open up one of your notes. These are test notes that I use and it's going to populate it with my personalized note format. Let me walk you through this. If you come over to new session, this is a session I did with a fictionalized client. This isn't a real client, but I want to show you exactly what this note looks like. So when you click on an old session, for example, it's going to come in here and you're going to click up here at the top where it says follow up personalized. I want to change it now to Kim Tolson's note, which you'll see populated here. It's Kim Tolson with the confetti emoji right here. Click on it and hit change. And it's going to change this note right here to Kim Tolson's note format. I want to walk you through why this note meets medical necessity. I think it's really important to share about that. It's it created a new note format for this fictionalized client. One thing I definitely want to point out is this testing to up here. This is where the client's name would normally be. But right here, Barry has put this new amazing feature in the date and the time of the session, and it tells you how long the session was. Now, since this was a fictionalized case, it's not going to tell you the exact times. But as you can see, it gives you the date, the time range, and the actual minutes of the session. This is very important for medical necessity because if you're billing a 90837, for example, this is going to tell you exactly how long the session was. 90837 needs to be 53 minutes. When you copy and paste this over into your EHR, it carries this heading with you. It's going to say telehealth or face-to-face -face session. This note defaults to face-to-face, -to -face, but I always want it to default to telehealth, so I'm going to type in telehealth because I'm a telehealth provider. I'm saving that because I want to make sure this note's exactly customized to me. Location at the time of the session, office. You could change this. If you are a uh, telehealth provider, you could say the client was in their home at the time of the session. By doing that, it's going to default to those locations and this modality every single time. This is important because with telehealth specifically, we have to bill at 02, 10, or 11 for location. And you need your note to match for telehealth. In the home, I would use location code 10 on my claim form, but Barry's is going to automatically populate that for you. To meet medical necessity, it needs to be in your note like this. Session detail, I do a very in-depth piece right here. So the quote is in here, and that's what we base the diagnosis on. That's what we base the treatment plan on. That's what we're working on in, in treatment. We want to make sure that quote reflects what's happening with the client. And Barry's is really good at picking out the quote that the client has said that sort of dictates the tone for the rest of the session. My note gets really specific around active impairments, that sort of thing. I want to talk about depressed mood, suicidal thoughts, interventions that we've used in the past, symptoms noticed during the session, social anxiety. It's pulling a quote here. My note does that. I think it's really important. Of course, you could edit it if you want to, but it's for medical necessity. And this note that you have access to now, that's going to be in there. It touches on medications. The insurance companies want to make sure you're assessing and staying up to date with what medications the client's using. It's always going to default to an A if it doesn't apply. But these fields are here for us if we need them. And if it doesn't apply, it's not going to put them in there. But at least the insurance companies know that we're checking for this stuff. We're paying attention to this, which is super important for medical necessity. Uh, it talks about interventions. There is a bank of interventions here. All of these are evidence-based interventions, and it, it picks up on these during the session. It puts it in here if you talked about it. That's picking up on these evidence-based interventions, and I've got them all labeled in here already, so you're going to have really good interventions already in place if you were ever to get audited using this note. Summarizing the session, talking about what we did. You don't have to have this in here. The more 
information you could put in, the more chance you're going to have a passing an audit. So it's all in here for you. Middle status exam, I get really specific. My progress note has check boxes for different signs and symptoms showing that I'm assessing. I'm paying attention to all of this stuff. So Barry's, the AI technology is going to pick up on all of this. And it's going to say yes or no for each of these things that traditionally used to be check boxes in my note inside of my EHR. So I get very specific around assessment of self-harm. This is an overall assessment of the client and what's going on. This part is very important for medical necessity. So treatment plan progress. Continue with current treatment plan goals and objectives, a change in treatment plan and goals. If I said, hey, we're going to do a new treatment plan goal, I talked about that in the session, it would say something different here. Treatment plan summary, it's talking about staying in tune with the treatment plan. Now, we know with Berries, they have a brand new feature where you can click the treatment plan button and it's going to generate a new treatment plan based on this session if you need it to. Berries is going to pick up on that. It's going to write a new treatment plan goals, objectives, all of that, that are measurable and specific and also help you pass an insurance audit, which is amazing to me. It totally blows my mind. Homework goals and recommendation. It talks about the frequency of treatment, how often you want to see the client, if we have any referrals, if we're going to terminate treatment, all of that stuff. The insurance companies want you constantly assessing these factors so they know how long you're going to be seeing the client and that you're paying attention to it, that you're not just willy-nilly seeing the client forever. This part helps the clinician justify meeting medical necessity for a 90837. So the insurance companies would prefer you not do 90837s because it pays more. But we all see our clients for a 90837, which is 53 minutes plus. Most of us see our clients for an hour. This helps us meet that medical necessity requirement and justify a 90837 in every single note. With this note format activated, it's going to be listening and picking up on these things and saying yes or no. So if you ever do get audited, it's going to justify doing a 90837. Insurance companies always want you working towards an estimated discharge timeline. The note is going to default to three to six months for your estimated discharge timeline. They want to make sure you're constantly assessing this. Is it going to be a year? Is it going to be two months? You can change this however you want, but the default's three to six months. And the most important part is that the insurance company knows that you're addressing discharge and working towards a discharge plan, which is what they want you to be doing every time you see a client. So I hope this helps. I hope you love this note. If you don't like the note, I want to show you how to edit it and save your own format. You would come in here and change some things. I changed this to say telehealth. I changed this to say the client was located in their home at the time of the session. So once you edit it exactly how you want it, let's say you have a section that you know meets medical necessity and that you always have for your client. Put it in here, and then what you do is you come down, you hit save for each of the sections, you make sure you save it. If you change anything, it'll default to a save button, and you can save it, and come down here and click the learn button with the little AI stars. It comes up and it says, how do you wanna save this note? You can say my edit, or whatever suits your liking. And then once you have that, click save style and formatting can save it for you. If you come over to my formats up at the top, you'll see not only is my note still activated in there if you ever wanna go back to it, but now we've got another saved note that you've just saved. You can go to my edits and it'll change this note and every other note will default to this note now that you've created your personalized format. If you love this note, let me know. If you want a discount code, you can type in 50 from Kim and that's gonna give you $50 off your first month of using berries. I hope you love this note. And check out the other tutorials I have about berries inside of the YouTube channel.